to Gentlemen of Crypto, everyone. Episode 80, was it 89? 88. 88. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Climbing 88, up there. Like 88. What's up, Crypto Q? <laughs> Getting in there quick. I am King. And I'm Bitcoin Zay. And we are here to bridge the gap between cryptocurrency and the community. Every day at 10 ish. 10 ish. Yeah. And here we are. Oh, yeah. What's up, Symmetri? Free Bitcoin from yesterday. Who got it? All right, so our free Bitcoin winner from yesterday is Tariq. Uh, thanks for your comment um, s- stating that with Shapeshift, they need to get it together with these fees because everybody sees, even with the integration with Jax, their fees are out of control. But he said if he did use B Trash, as he called it, <laughs> mm-hmm. he said he would use BitPay because they have a history of doing what their customers want. And obviously, there is a demand for B Cash from somebody. So, uh, you know, they'll go forward with that. And I, I tend to lean that way as well. As far as companies go, you know, the decisions they make to me are based off how they can make much more money. So when they do that, even if you don't like it, I'm sure they see something you don't and they talk to insiders inside the industry that you don't. So uh, that's one of those things that if it, it does come to fruition, they use Bcash over Bitcoin or more than it. Uh, it's probably it's, it's probably a bullish sign for it, even if you don't like it, so to say. So can't have emotions in the market. But Tariq, he put he spelled it out right. Already sent that Bitcoin to you. So appreciate that, my man. Thank you. Thank you for the comment, as always, every day. Oh, yeah. All right, let's kind of jump into the news going on. We've been looking around. A lot of uh, still been quiet. The price has been staying around the same amount. So, mm-hmm. of course, uh, you know, it's just straight FUD articles coming out. But it looks like the SEC has come out and talked some more uh, nonsense, nonsense about something. What are they saying? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, if you saw the a lot of people saw the SEC report. Um, yeah, come on board, brother. Uh, the mm-hmm. SEC cracked down. Uh, didn't actually explicitly say anything about cryptocurrencies and you know their use case. However, they did mention the companies that some of the ones we've mentioned that when they throw blockchain in their name, that that is you know one of the things that is shooting their price up. But what happens is the people who are changing their name in the company, they may have inside information like okay, once we change our name, it's going up 100, 200 percent, which leaves people who buy in and then it drops another 50. So that's one of the things I think the SEC is trying to clean up with that. Some of the companies are like Long Island Ice Tea. Come on, man. You change the Long Island blockchain overnight. Um, your mining company now. Yeah, like you just change your whole business model overnight. But uh, another one, Staples and Capital. Capital. They changed their name to Blockchain Worldwide. Just totally different. Had nothing to do with anything. And they went up 130% in one day. So SEC is trying to crack down on that as well as trying to get um, written literature for how ICOs should work. Because... Even though it is a great idea, a lot of people have gotten their money taken simply because they don't know, you know, who the developers are, sending that to wallets that have gotten hacked. Um, so, yeah, blockchain tea tastes better than Long Island tea. <laughs> yeah, everything blockchain tastes better with blockchain. Better, right? Yeah, like, yeah, everybody throws blockchain and all of a sudden it's better, even though they don't even need it, half the companies. Um, so, um, look out for the SEC kind of uh, putting out more statements now going into February. When they actually have a meeting with uh, companies like Coin Center, um, they'll have you know delegations where they have to, to speak about Bitcoin and how it's used. So, yeah, that's that's one of the things they haven't explicitly said anything about cryptocurrency, but it's coming. I mean, it's, you can, it's you can always it. coming. There's a lot of money in the market. They want in. Yeah. I bet you if it dropped, you know, today they wouldn't say anything. Like if it were to yeah. drop and stay down for next month or whatever, regulation would like cease and desist. Mm-hmm. But since that's not going to happen and our government is just as bullish as us, even though they're not saying anything, yeah. expect more regulations to come. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no doubt. No, and, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Not yeah, this is, I mean, we saw it coming. Uh, mm-hmm. Look, you so said we have a dino today again today, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Uh, another repeat offender. Of course, these are the same people and companies are just circulating back and forth <laughs> through the park. Yeah. Or at least they, uh, one of their relatives. So yeah. we got Goldman Sachs again today. What has Goldman Sachs done? Uh, well, Goldman Sachs is one of those companies that's been straddling the fence as hard as you can straddle a fence. Jesus Christ. They, they've come out. I like they've it. They've said, I don't. I don't like don't, it. Yeah, yeah. They've come out. I don't know what it is. Okay. We like it. We're going to open a crypto trading desk. Um, bullish. That's what I said. Uh, G Sachs uh, or Goldman Sachs. They basically came out with a report saying that Bitcoin uh, or digital currencies would solve the problem of payments with uh, ease of of uh, execution with lower transaction fees. However, Bitcoin doesn't solve that problem currently, uh, which is one of the things that's funny because they they say Bitcoin doesn't solve it, but they have a long term uh, digital currency plan. So it's like they're saying, all right, well. 
Don't don't get into Bitcoin because we're gonna put our own later and we're gonna try. That's, to basic that's basically right. that's all they're saying. So uh, if you read between the lines, what I think they're they're pointing at um, is that our digital currency for you know our bank, whenever it comes out, it'll be pegged to the dollar. It'll be steady. You know what I mean? We don't have to worry about the volatility. However, volatility is half the reason people got into the game. Up or down, there are people who can make money. So um, yeah, Goldman Sachs, you gotta get that dinosaur today. You and your other cronies who write reports that are so vague, we can't actually, we don't even know your real opinion, but we can read through the lines, so. So with that, let's go ahead and give them that roar. Go ahead and give them that roar. One more mm -hmm. time, as always. Two times. There we go. Oh, yeah. What is it? They yeah. said they know that... Uh, Double speak. You're right. Because if Lightning Network, we've been saying it forever. We've seen over 100 Lightning Network nodes pop up over, uh, you know, the last few weeks. The interest is there. We're actually, I mean, I'm actually working on it now myself. So people don't understand is that when that happens, people are already making payments instantly on the uh, test net for little or no fees, like one cent or no, no money at all. So when that comes, there's nothing you can really say because then it, that all it is, is it's scaled up the way it's supposed to. Um, and Bitcoin payments become something where it is like more like digital cash and not just store value. Because we're, we're in the early stages. Come on, man. I mean, well, you know, perfect time to attack. Again, you know, just looking up the Bitcoin price, some of the top articles that come up saying, you know, Bitcoin price warning, U.S. government will kill cryptocurrency. Uh, you know, you got, of course, you got Ripple getting pushed again. Mm -hmm. uh, big, Bitcoin could trigger utter lawlessness in India. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's just, again, it's... got to buy by the law to get an IP address. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like what? <laughs> the, the day that they actually speak positive again about Bitcoin and crypto in general, mm -hmm. uh, let's see what the market does in. Because even with FUD, we stand at 11K today. Yep. Um, and if we pass some resistance, we're looking at a double bottom. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough if we push past, you know, that 13K resistance, the same thing. Because we turn back bullish, no amount of FUD will hold it back this time. Because this is, you know, how many days in a row? I mean, right, it's been literally like two weeks in a row of right. straight bad articles coming out. Just like in early December, before it took off to uh, past ten thousand, so yeah, that's that's just something we got to deal with. We still see. Well, you know, another good thing uh, looking at new companies are implementing uh, blockchain tech. Of course, not just companies, but of course, governments are jumping on. It looks like Vermont mm -hmm. has a new real estate program called Proppy, where mm -hmm. they're looking at adding blockchain to their real estate. Oh, uh, yeah. how are they doing that? Yep. Yeah, well, you might have seen this story, but Vermont actually has. Um, They've had blockchain law in, in place and regulation since 2015. Uh, they're actually, you know, they like blockchain technology because they're smart people who realize if you get left behind on this technology, you might be behind for the next 30 years. So um, they, they uh, use their technology to allow people to purchase real estate on the blockchain, which actually makes it more secure and it, it reduces fraud, all those things. This has actually already happened uh, in places like Miami, New York, even overseas, Dubai, Bali, people are buying real estate with Bitcoin. So if you're one of those people who are new and you've been looking for a use case for Bitcoin saying, well, I haven't done anything with it, I don't know. Trust me, hold your Bitcoin because one day what you have may be worth a down payment for a house. Could you imagine that? Like how many young, you Mexico, know, younger people? Yeah. Mexico as well, yeah. How many young people that may have digital assets one day could buy a house um, simply because they have, you know, a digital asset. So great time for yeah if you have realtors or real estate agents in i've talked to a few they look at me like i'm crazy um not as much now but they did before when i explained to them it was like your job is going to be non-existent at some point <laughs> if you don't get into it and you help create the uh, language around it with smart contracts the lawyers and stuff that you need so uh it's, it's just getting started but it's, it's good to see because real estate is and always will be um one of the best commodities there is because Land, land is scarce. Well, especially now, I mean, you talk about buying real estate on, on uh, the blockchain where uh, just talking about the deed of the home that can easily be grabbed or figure out who owns it by looking at uh, open source tech. So yeah. I think it'll be a pretty good thing as well. Again, not just here, whether it's in Vermont, United States, internationally, mm -hmm. you can now buy these, uh, you can buy places anywhere around the world from your laptop or phone, yeah. send them some crypto. So yeah, uh, and I, I mean, I worked at a real estate law firm it's too many people there. They, you don't need all these middlemen. You are right. There's, you got to take the paperwork from, you know, from scratch, and then you got to have the paralegal, and you got to take it over to Susan, the secretary. You got to move it over to the, the lawyer who has to look at it, and then 
you know, it's, it's crazy to, uh, to imagine that that system will continue. Um, and anybody in real estate, yep, Bitcoin vegan, um, so, yeah, I'm, you gotta get your, your mom's on it if she wants to, because that's one of those things. It, it will get rid of all the clutter while making it actually cheaper uh, as a process, so. Uh, so Joe, Joe's Gary once said they run a supply chain for one of the largest tech companies. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's our take on the on Bitcoin in the supply chain space and use cases? Uh, same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking about uh, you know military supply when yeah. you're literally moving a bunch of pieces all across the world where you don't always know where the money is going, how much. Oh, blockchain. Okay, I didn't know what BC was. Yeah, yeah. It was blockchain Bitcoin. technology. Blockchain, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, you know, you're talking about where you're moving a bunch of money across the world. You don't know how much is going in, coming out, what you're getting for it. All that stuff is being tracked right now on old uh, databases, old mm -hmm. servers, uh, clearly hackable servers as well. So yeah, yeah, you start putting all this stuff, especially supply chain, on the blockchain, mm -hmm. and then automating it as well. Where yeah. uh, you know you use smart contracts, and you can already put in, hey, mm -hmm. when the, on average after two or three weeks, this product, whatever it is, is going to mm -hmm. run out. Automatically send the money. Automatically resend the uh, restart the contract. Yeah. I think it's going to be huge. Um, yeah. And I mean, it's some of that now, but there isn't as much traceability, which is one of the biggest problems. Boxes get get lost. Um, you know, at log yeah. Log I was just about to say, logistics wise, getting from A to B, from B to C, without something in the middle. You know what I mean? A, a driver or a truck or a malfunction, you can easily track it. You can generate public addresses all day. Uh, put it on your your items and do that. So. Hey, if you have a company that is looking at that, yeah, do some research and, and go for it. Because honestly, blockchain is what's going to solve your problem at some point with the use case of Bitcoin as payment. So. And then especially uh, doing it early on. I mean, whoever really cracks that code and figure out, you know, the A to Z process of using blockchain tech and crypto to manage their supply chains, mm -hmm. uh, you already have a new job of just teaching other companies to do the same thing. Because yeah. It's something that everyone's going to need. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it was the VA or something. It was either VA that came out the other day and said, hey, they're accepting uh, all uh, offers for new use cases to implement blockchain tech, uh, using them. So, yeah, VA, military, the use cases, I mean, they're literally enormous, especially when you're talking about something where uh, you're supposed to be able to watch public funding go to and from. So, yeah, uh, I think that can be huge. Yep, yep. Uh, yep. Bitflyer license from the EU. What is going on with Bitflyer oh, in the yeah. European Union? Big news today. The biggest news probably is that Bitflyer, uh, the biggest um, exchange in South Korea, has been granted a license by the European Union. Um, it's called the Payment Institution License, which allows them to run their cryptocurrency exchange just not anonymously and we've seen this kind of coming since december but today it's official so um you know a company that's moved over 250 billion dollars of you know so to say regular people's money now they can bring in uh institutional investors big name people uh big money people who can easily do transfers of you know a million or more so um that's one of the best parts about this license is that it brings in more money however there's some people who are like, well, if I got to do it without being anonymous or if I have to put information, I don't want it, which is cool because like we said, there's something for everybody. You will have decentralized exchanges and you will have people who use other means of, of, of getting that uh, getting that Bitcoin to them. So uh, shout out to Bitfly, finally getting that done. Um, yeah, the future EU has always been on the rocks and I haven't used Coinbase in so long. So um, right. <laughs> Have you? I yeah, can't we switched say. from Coinbase a long, long time, ago. long time ago, man. Yeah. Right, Bitflyer Japan or Korea? P man Van X. Yeah, he says Japan or Korea. Oh, Korea. Yeah. Korea. That's happening in Korea. Yeah. Again, another. I mean, it's just it's just growing. This thing's getting out of control. People, mm -hmm. so more companies, more organizations doing something in the space, mm -hmm. opening up. Uh, you know, again, like you said, what's was, was crazy is how you, they are starting to keep track of everybody uh, onboarding and offboarding. Yeah. Uh, but again, it can only last for so long until more merchants and more people start accepting crypto. The more, you know, I was in a, was in a restaurant the other day and I tipped the, uh, was it, the bathroom attendant in oh, crypto. So, yeah, you know, exactly. it's one of those things. It's like, I was like, I don't have any cash on me, but I was like, I can, uh, you know, are you familiar with cryptocurrency mm -hmm. and Bitcoin? He's like, I kind of heard of it. Had him download like a blockchain wallet. Mm -hmm. uh, literally sent him like five or 10 bucks right there on the spot. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, oh, he was like, oh yeah, I'm about to tell other people, you know, put <laughs> yeah. up a little sign. I'm like, yeah. that's all you got to do. People do have that. it, they'll yeah. send it to you. So, do that with plenty uh, of Uber drivers. There's about right, 10 you know, Uber drivers out there. I didn't tip the Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bank of America, what's going on with them today? 
Uh, well, going away from cryptocurrency to the problem that it's trying to solve, Bank of America has come out and said that if you have less than 1500 in your account, or if you don't have at least 250 in direct deposits, they're going to charge you $12 a month for their checking accounts. Uh, so Wait, how, they're going to charge how much? $12 a month. What? For them to hold your money. Like, that's... <laughs> Come on, man. Like, are you? It's basically we. I forget who told me this, but they told me they said war is not going to be based on race or whatnot. It's going to end up being a war on poor people, and they're going to find ways that if you don't have the money, you may laugh at the purge. You may look at it like, of course they won't get people out. They're not going to go around shooting them with shotguns. However, if you take away that means to move money, if you take away the means for poor people, I mean, you got people who can't get bank accounts, then the ones who can just barely get it. Oh yeah, we're going to charge you a monthly fee on top of that. Um, that's one of those things that's just a money grab to recoup the bonuses they gave out. Come on, man. Like, that was such a fake story because they're, they're going to get it back. They're going to get that money back. So if you don't have a safe balance checking, I believe, which is $5 a month, then it'll be 12 So uh, we'll see how much money they make from that. And over the years, the his historically, we've seen how banks have taken advantage of people. So if you want to use banks, I would suggest your local credit union. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. They, those are the real gangsters right there. They, <laughs> they for real. They just be like, yeah, you gonna you gonna pay us twelve dollars. I mean, if they made it twenty, um, what you gonna do? You know, some people they they can't move it. So, um, yes, yeah. Coinbase does not have Segwit yet. They have gave mm -hmm. a plethora of reasons of why they can't do it at the at the time. Mm -hmm. Though they can do everything, of course, needed for uh, B Cash get that up and rolling. So again, yep. it's a comp it's a self serving company. I mean, it's not necessarily here for the community. It's just a company that saw a place where they can get in for the business. Mm -hmm. And I mean, speaking of Coinbase, I think I saw an article today that says, you know, that they're not even taking investor, outside investor funds anymore because they're worth like a billion dollars. Yeah. They have a billion dollar value, valuation. Yeah. So you got a company with a billion dollar valuation that deals with money and they don't even have support. Yeah. You know, like really think about that. Mm -hmm. um, is you know, email. Don't get round. Yeah, email <laughs> back might take months to get. You know, yeah. there's no one you can call. Uh, and that kind of goes to show where they're spending their money at and what they think is important, what is it? So, mm -hmm. yeah, create your own sandbox of crypto, which is what we're trying to do now. Because once the community gets to a point where we agree that crypto is valuable enough that we don't have to use cash, there is no there is no going backwards from that. So we're only getting closer and closer to that point. People are starting to accept almost any crypto because they can convert it easily. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, so a few folks are talking about the fees on. Some of the, uh, what, I'm getting killed in transaction costs. Yeah, I mean. So they don't it, make as much. And again, yeah, it depends on who you're using. Uh, and then for, even for Bitcoin, I know right now the mempool has cleared up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And some of the fees are a lot lower. And again, like you said, we got Lightning Network. Uh, that's about to be coming here in full swing. Mm -hmm. But until then, I mean, people, you can use any crypto to do a crypto to, to crypto transaction. Yeah. Uh, of course, Bitcoin, Ethereum are the most popular, but. You literally can grab any cryptocurrency and, uh, and, and and trade it or use it as a form of currency to other people as long as they take it. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's one of the ways to get around the fees as well. Mm -hmm. you oh, see, yeah. See, the look on people's faces when you tell them cash is going away, it drains <laughs> the blood from their faces. I oh, believe man. it. <laughs> I've been telling people for that for years. It's almost cost more than a dollar to print a dollar. What you going to think <laughs> when it costs more? Nobody will use dollars anymore. Plus, everything's going to be connected so to say from a you know smart city smart whatever standpoint so yeah cash is king until it's not hey until crypto is mm -hmm. uh well that's all we have for today mm -hmm. shortest show it's not too mm -hmm. much going on like i said the price been stable uh stable from that 10 to 12k range going up and down mm -hmm. uh, other than that for the free bitcoin day what are we going to do all right so for the free bitcoin which state do you think will in implement a blockchain real estate type uh, system. It may not be that company property, but what uh, state will implement some sort of blockchain real estate where you can purchase uh, using their technology. So far, we've had Vermont, uh, we've had Florida, New York, Texas, Texas California. California. So those are the five that I know for, for sure have used, uh, have used it for uh, blockchain real estate payments. But which state do you think will be next? Um, make sure you put it in the comments after the show, put that public address and we'll send that to you. So as always, thank you for watching. You can follow us. Mm -hmm. Did you guys get kidnapped? What's that? Wait, no. wait, what video? What video? <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, as always, you can follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Kirby Crypto. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and jump on our website. You can 
uh, sign up for our newsletter that will be coming out soon. We have more information to follow. Oh, yeah. As always, thank you, and you all have a great day. Have a good one.